How goes it ladies and gents? This is Enzo from Boy Basket and as you might have guessed from that OBB, this is our very first collab with our buddy Kickspotty. We got to try out the KD10 and we love the shoe very much. Here's our review. Let's start with cushioning. The KD10 features the same setup as the KD9 with segmented full-length max zoom air. It may start out on the firm side for some, but we had no problems with the zoom setup right out of the box. Give it a few wears and runs and you'll get everything you want. Great responsiveness, maximum impact protection, and the right amount of bounce without sacrificing court feel. This enhanced setup also provides better stability for an overall well-balanced ride. The segmented area on the forefoot allows the foot to move and bend naturally, giving it a smooth transition from heel to toe. This is still one of the best cushioning setups by Nike. Just lace them up and you're good to go. Now on to fit. Wide footers rejoice. The KD10 has finally addressed the problem of the KD9 being too narrow. Wide footers can now enjoy getting their true side. While narrow footers might have to adjust down half the size this time, we still suggest that you try out the shoe in store because once you find your size, the fit is awesome. Flyknit. There's Flyknit everywhere and this solved another problem of the KD9, trying to get your foot in the shoe with ease. The whole tongue and collar area is made with pure Flyknit that's stretchy which makes the KD9 a breeze getting into. The lateral, medial, and forefoot are woven tightly with TPU strands infused for more stability and support on sudden stops and lateral movements. Even with thicker flying along these areas, the shoe didn't feel stiff at all and still provided that perfect fit while providing the support you need. The new lacing system features oversized laces that run along the base of the midfoot and wrap around the foot for added containment and lockdown. These did a great job in our opinion and we didn't feel any pain, pinching, or digging into our feet at any time. Lastly, the internal heel pad locks your heel in place all the time with zero slipping. Materials Again, Flyknit. The whole shoe is constructed with Flyknit and Nike did a great job balancing out the more supportive areas with form-fitting and flexible Flyknit along the tongue and collar. Suede straps are added along the heel and ankle for a premium finish and also extra support. Since it is Flyknit, they'll continue to break in and give you a better fit after several runs. Overall, they provided a comfortable fit for us. Traction The KD10 features a solid rubber outsole with circular patterns for multi-directional movements. While it's not the best, it still performed very well on both indoor and outdoor cement courts. On clean courts, you won't have any issues, while on slightly dusty courts, you might have to do some regular wiping. The rubber is on the softer side though, so rough outdoor courts are not recommended as they might burn through the outsole quickly. The KD10 features the basic support that you need and it got the job done in our opinion. The main support comes from its fit and if you find the right size, that'll help you a lot in basic lockdown and overall containment. The heel padding works great and you won't have any issues with heel slipping and movement. The lacing system also helps in lockdown and it keeps your foot glued to the midfoot. A firmer setup on the zoom cushioning adds overall stability on your landings. A lot will depend on the type of player you are, but for the most part, the support gets the job done. Overall, we really enjoyed playing in the KD10. The shoe has a lot of great features that all types of players will definitely enjoy. You get awesome cushioning, responsiveness, great fit, comfortable materials, and an overall smooth ride. Plus, the design and colorways are dope. It's a very light and versatile shoe, and you should definitely add this to your regular rotation. For more sneaker content, head on to kickspotting.com, and for more basketball content, head on to boybasket.com. Peace.